All right, collective, I'm gonna continue here. That video just happened to cut off. I'm gonna do a quick clarification. By the way, that's uh, the Who em Eminence front. Um, when I was just talking about that 80s Bobby and you know, the that's the Who in the 80s, right man? Like that's what they started in the 60s, same time as the dead. When they came out with that, people were probably like, what, this ain't the Who? <laughs> All righty. Let's do a little clarification, please. Uh, the meditation card I uh, pulled was Awakening. So for those of you that are on a spiritual journey, you may be experiencing this now, going through a spiritual awakening. Maybe you're ascending, you know, and with the High Priestess card here, that's very likely um, because you already have uh, Judgment and the Justice um, at your back. Not only that, you have, uh, you know, love here with the Terrapin, uh, with the Ace of Cups. So, um, yeah. Spirit, let's clarify, please. What else can you tell us, Spirit, about this Libra? Fire. Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Again, now I was holding the deck opposite. So that's not really a reversal. Although I was saying something about not wanting to do reversals. I don't think I'm ready for a reversal yet. So hoping spirit doesn't push me on that. <laughs> um, you know, the, the justice card is the one that's holding that truth. They're, they're holding the ace of swords. And then you have the ace of cups on top of it. So I feel like... The thing is, if you do express yourself um, from the heart, um, you're you're gonna that's gonna be the the true story that comes out, okay? And yeah, and maybe why it hasn't been coming out is is because if you don't feed yourself the love, if you don't feed yourself the truth of a situation, then it's very easy to focus on what's going on over here, right? Instead of like just making the tiniest little move and being like, oh, wait a second, what's that? Okay, and then you can change your entire energy pattern, right? Because you stopped, you said no, you said, wait, postpone postpone. So maybe for some of you, this is taken, um, this, this awakening, this spiritual journey has really caused you to stop and reassess, um, your surroundings. Spirit, what do we got? Uh, this, uh, four of the horns here, please. Spirit, four bolts. King of Swords, that's Libra right there. Gemini and Aquarius also. Again, strong masculine energy coming through. <coughs> um, some readers talk about um, the Empress also with the Justice card. Um, so it's kind of interesting here that you, along with the Ace of Swords, you also have the King of Swords because again, that's the sword. The, the truth is being wielded and having it in the foundation means that it's kind of, it's kind of like a, you know, like it's written, you know, in stone type thing. You know, these are the rules that we're following to get to the mountaintop here that you've envisioned for yourself. All right. And... I always like to point this out mercilessly, okay? So again, that dragon be snapping that tail, right? And then there might be a little spillage of blood, okay? But no, I'm not advocating violence. I'm just saying. Now, everybody's going to be happy with every decision that you make, but the decision you make has to be spirit saying for you, right? For you, not for this. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Spirit. And 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 it's yeah. With the love. Where is the love? Right? Who sang that one? <clears throat> and again, I mean this is the cup that you want to be giving to yourself. And remember there was five here. 
So five streams. So even if you're just filling up these streams, you got one, two, three, four, five. How about that? But really, this is the cup that you need to fill first, right? Okay. And then when that's full, then you can pour out some here if you want to. But what Spirit's saying is that you're going to have so much abundance, right? That you're going to, it's going to pour into you. It's going to pour into your cup, right? You're going to be able to pour into your own cup. You know what I mean? You're going to be able to transform that energy in, you know, you know, some people made water and wine, whatever. I mean, hey, whatever, <laughs> however you do it. <laughs> Some people go to the store and they buy something and then they fill a cup, right? There's my cup, put some liquor in it. <laughs> Uptown funk that, right? And then you will be dancing in the streets. As long as you don't bleed on my shoes, right? <laughs> Just got these shoes. These are my king and shoes. Oh, spirit, <clears throat> help, help me clear <laughs> the four winds, please, for the collective. It's four winds blowing us safely home and swiftly, safely and swiftly. Um, thing is, the Knight of Swords can be a little impulsive, also a little bit reckless, but this is that air energy and um, the thing about the Knight of Swords is it's definitely an action night, okay? There's no worry about a call to action there. So for those of you returning to your truth, returning to your home, it's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's almost like, um, you know, like on Star Trek, right? When they're like, you know what I mean? And then it's like, boom, there they are. It can be as easy as that to get into your reality. All right. Um, lady, clarify us, please, spirit. Whew. She's a lady, all right. Mm -hmm. I believe that's Tom Jones as well. Oh, and here's that judgment again. <laughs> this lady, this high priestess ain't messing around. I know some of the deadheads might kind of relate to this, you know, kind of like the, the soft hippie energy and people are like, oh, I want her to fly. But you know what? You got to stand up for yourself as well. A high priestess doesn't become a high priestess without being able to face demons and battle them. Right? She threw that fan in the fire for a reason. Lady of Carlisle, look it up. This is based on a story. All right. Moving on. Thank you. So there's uh, five of schools on about. Who dat? <laughs> Who dat? Oh, it's the star stepping in to say, I ain't got time for that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Remember I was talking about filling up your cup? Okay, some people go to the store in the old days, the old settling days, right? They used to go to the creek or wherever or dig a well, right? And go, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Well, she's got two pails here. Uh-huh. Because she knows she's got stuff to do. She's got starring stuff to do. Also Aquarius energy. So for you Aquarians out there, I think you know what I'm talking about because Aquarians will be like, be the first ones to be like, I don't want any part of this drama. Air signs that they are, right? I will mentally cut all of this crap out and never think of any of you again, you know, to bot in a, in a bothersome way. Like, bye, <laughs> have fun. I got, I got water and star and cool stuff to do <laughs> okay you know tend to the farm right 
And as soon as I said that, I said that right after I see that she's she's pouring this water also into the land. So, you know, maybe that's the old water. Maybe that's the stale water. Maybe that's, you know, she that's part of her saging, you know, cleansing her space, right? To make it clean, to make it new, to, you know, and the nudity here, I think, also kind of represents that kind of the innocence, making it new, so for some of you, this could be a new, new relationship type, you know, opportunity coming in for you. Yeah. Okay. Spirit, clarify the meow. Meow. <laughs> These cards are so cool. And every time I look at them, I see something different. Sagittarius energy. We're in Scorpio season right now. Sagittarius will be coming about soon. Uh, I always like to, I, I feel like, uh, especially with this deck, these cards are both very similar because they both have one foot on the land, one foot in the water, um, have two cups here. Um, you know, she's an angel on earth. Um, but again, that might require some patience which is what temperance is all about, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. Let's continue. <laughs> Every time I see that no card now, I'm just like laughing to myself like, nope. Like, like Spirit, you're trying to tell me to stop right now? Like, no? <laughs> Say no to everything, like a little kid, like why? Why, 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 yeah, put an end to that, <laughs> death card, put an end to that. So here's the thing too, if you have been feeling left out, um, and part of the reason that I do these readings and tap into these energies is to let people know that, you know, a lot of these feelings and um, things that happen kind of in these storylines are, you know, not necessarily uncommon, right? And there's other people that are dealing with them. So um, regardless of how left out of a situation you might feel, you can see this, this growth that's coming. Like this isn't necessarily like we are going into a winter season in the United States. However, um, you know, if this was like the spring melt, right? Yeah. Here's the buds starting to grow. Okay. And that can't happen without putting an end to certain activities, right? You know, like the seeds literally, you know, the, it, it literally dies off and then, you know, those, those bulbs. So this could be a good time for, you know, fall's a good time for planting bulbs as well, I believe. Right. Well, planting shrubs. Um, anyway, I'm not, I, I said this in the last video. I'm not, I, I don't have really a green thumb. I have plants, but you know, <laughs> they're doing Okay. <laughs> They could probably, they'd probably do a lot better at somebody else's house, but right now they're oxygenating mine. So thank you. <laughs> uh, Spirit, can we clarify this Nine of Wands, please? Oof, this energy tonight. It's a full moon, folks. So I'm sorry if I feel, appear a little extra wacky tonight, but um, that's just the way it is. Um, and uh, I'm just chilling at home here. All right. <clears throat> It's a little foggy out here's that five of pentacles again and i feel like the person that could be coming towards you with some reckless energy um that's exactly what they're gonna say they're gonna be like hey man i'm i'm you know they're they're gonna think that you are the one that are supposed to give this to them them like you know like this is them but that's not how this works i mean because all she's got to do is turn her head right so, you know, there's, there's this wall here. I was just going to say, there's a certain point, got to hit the wall and um, realize that there's other opportunities than just what's in front of you. Okay. The song that's playing right now is called Willin. A lot of you probably know it as a, the Little Feet song. Linda Ronstadt also covered it, I believe, with the Stone Ponies, the touring band that she was with. Um, Weed, white sand, wine, and you show me a sign. All right, Spirit, can we clarify this 
This Ace of Truth. The, you know, that, wow, we got it twice here already. The Ace of Swords, guys. This is wild. And that's like three. That's, wow, with the king, that's four. You got a knight here, that's five. That's five. So there's five to combat the five. Mm-hmm. Two of Wands. Okay. So the thing is, acceptance of this truth is going to allow you to kind of um, maybe relax a little bit. Um, you know, step into some other kind of energy that's more um like worrying about what you have going on, right? Like she ain't looking at some cups or whatever, like you know, she's got her going out clothes on, her shoes. You know what I mean? Like, maybe she's like, you know, waiting on her Uber here. I don't know. <laughs> maybe she's texting her for calling a friend. And like, hey, what's up? What's going on? You know what I mean? Like, I'm going here. You want to come with me? Kind of thing. All right. <clears throat> and 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 she's out in the open here. There's There's nowhere to hide. And she don't have to. Because the truth is on her side. Because she's got the Ace of Swords twice. Right, Collective? She's got two wands here to prove it. Boy, this energy is wild tonight. I just cannot get over it. Okay, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before I stay too long in this energy and feel like the bumper t pool table, like, -da -da, you know, pinball machine. So, all right, collective, if you have been feeling that way, just stay strong, you know, like, you know, if you don't have to stay in during the full moon, <laughs> I, that's honestly, I usually do end up staying, like a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going out full moon. Like, I, <laughs> those are literally the times where I'm like, oh, I'm staying in tonight. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, put those old records off the shelf. Yeah. Come on, Bob Seger. Let's have a house party. You mean Alexa. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Okay. All right. I did, yeah, that's the bottom of the deck. I can't, I can't, can't go there anymore. All right. Um, remember, we got our uh, divinely guided spiritual path going on here. I went through these in the first part of the reading. Transformation. Yes, things are changing on a cellular level. Deep healing and no, taking a pause, okay? Uh, we're gonna do the animal oracle, yes, thank you. I could also read you the awakening message out of the messages from the light booklet. Most oracle decks come with a little booklet or they should. Um, you know, kind of explaining the message. Personally, I'm more of an intuitive reader, but I do, um, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's all interpretive. I, I yeah, anyway. All right, Spirit, thank you. Ooh, yeah. Lizard. <laughs> yeah, and a lizard can hang on a tree upside down, too, so it don't matter if he comes out in reverse, right? <laughs> Regeneration. As a survivor, yeah, the lizard brain, right? You know, you feel like you're in mortal danger, the lizard brain, okay. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. Oof. So yeah, that's that nine of, wands, nine of wands, okay. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. And yeah, she's looking, like I said earlier in the first video, like I was like, Beyonce, is that you? Like, <laughs> but definitely that ancient Egypt vibe, right? Yeah, I'll put on my new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. So Slither the Lizard, but regeneration. You know, and, and snakes shed their skin. Um, Coyote, revealer of truth, ace of swords, protection. Um, that's the thing to remember too, is when the truth is on your side, you are protected, okay? 
Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for traps and tricks of life and learn from them. Well, that's quite nice. Yeah, see like, you know, this is like, we're going out to dinner, maybe, you know, maybe we'll go sit in a cafe. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, get out, get out and enjoy yourself, right? Obviously, you don't have, you know, the introverts are being like, no, I'll take that no card, please. Thank you. But we still, I mean, if you are an introvert, you still like to be invited. Let's not lie. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Cougar assertive. Yeah, she came out. She came out yesterday. Elk nobility. Celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success. Just like the crowns on this. Yeah. On this elk. Very majestic animal. Powerful forces guide you. Yes, you are going to be guided. Right? Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. Take it to the limit. Take it to the limit. One more time. If you enjoy my singing, you can check out my Ophelia's Band channel and that's also on YouTube. Um, what is this awakening message, please? Awakening. You are a spiritual being having a physical presence. Okay, that's the 5D into the 3D, y'all. You are one with all creation. There is no other, okay? Yeah, you are one with creation, all right? We are in this 3D physical world. So, you know, get out of your head, um, you know, find your soul tribe, <laughs> do what it takes. Don't let wagon tongue stop you and make you feel like, eh, everything's swirling around. No, no, ain't nobody got time for that, right? Because I got my star energy to manifest here. Thank you.